Hey guys, it's me. Um, you might be asking, why am I wearing a hat? Well, it's a bad hair day today. Um, so, <clears throat> even with the bad hair day, I'm here to provide another game. This one's not a new game. It's one of the games I got from Humble Bundle a little while back that I've been wanting to play. I just have not. <clears throat> so, without further ado, Ah, we do can use our controller. Awesome. This game is called Black Book. I want to make sure that we have subtitles on. This is, uh, oh, I don't, I have no idea what the difficulty means. But I want to make sure, I guess there may, may or may not be subtitles. Or maybe they're all subtitles, because no may not be voice acting. But it says voice right there, so I guess we're going to find out. Uh, but this is a game <clears throat> that looks really interesting. Oh. Uh, for anyone who wishes to experience a story without much difficulty in battle. <clears throat> Normal difficulty, increased difficulty, and evil spirits roam unchecked in this difficulty level. Okay, but it, it, we're gonna go with normal. Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here. But in a sense, they still do. I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here, not far from Cherdin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a knower. Everyone called him Old Yegor. A knower? She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. How special are we talking I about? I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates <clears throat> of the church. Pretty special. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which old Igor kept, and retrieve him. All right. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so, Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. That pretty much sticks with lore. Mortiska. Uh, Churden UZ, Perm Governate, 1879. Did I? Been waiting, hoping for you to return. But you haven't. You never sat at the table. Well, I guess you really love this guy. There you had it. That's kind of new. And from the warm summer, you departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. Cold mother birth. There isn't even a churchyard fence to hold on to. Because, you know, the tale is that if you commit suicide, you're not allowed to be buried in a church, so you don't go to heaven. I don't believe you will do this to yourself. It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandma. That would be really Though weird. I know what you thought of that. If somebody killed him instead of him committing suicide just to get her to become a witch, just to go to hell, just to re find a soul that isn't his. Plot twist. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that robe myself. Sleep for now. 
Sleep. I won't be long. Welcome to the game, Black Book. Uh, uh, use move and then select point of interest. Oh, I got some candles. Leave the candles running. They didn't bury him in the holy ground. No. Nope. Uh, we have thicket. Okay, it kind of plays like an adventure game. I almost. need to go to the crossroads. The pine needles are golden with the sun already. Okay. Because it'll auto move if I choose. Oh, there's an herb there. Adam's head. That doesn't look like Adam's head. A useful thing on my journey replenishes five health. All right, well, there's nothing else there. Oh, okay, that's a pretty good transition. To the crossroads. I don't know how to speak today. I mean, I don't know how to speak most days. <clears throat> the initiation of a colden. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. All right, well, let's look around. Uh, goblets. The crosses look old. It seems people were buried here quite some time ago. We have got a mile post. Clearly, oh, the cabets here mark the graves of the unclean. Otherwise, all the way back there. why would they be near a crossroads? Cherdin, 16 miles. Selikamsk, 102 miles. Nerup, 21 miles. There's something watching us from the woods. Oh, I could pick up the ritual candles. Applies three something on the first turn. Okay. That looks like an herb or something. Yes. Got another Adam's head. Same with there. No, no, I wanted. I wanted the herb. Okay. Well, I mean, might as well go to talk to... Stop. So, have you found the candles? Yes. Well done. All by yourself at that. Seems my teachings were not lost on you, after all. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps. Otherwise, we'll be crushed by evil spirits. That's very true. made a circle. Is it all right, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps. Good. Too late to dither now. You think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Written in the book. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Yes, let me take the book. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Yeah, it does. Now speak the words I taught you. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it, and I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither inconvertible rouble nor a fine hat, but bestow me with knowledge of the dark. Why a cat? A vision shop. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully, if you value your life. To become a witch, 
You have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Sagavar. Okay. Uh, they had a hint there? Okay, welcome to your first battle. Each battle consists of turns. You and your enemy take turns, but you always get to go first. You win when you destroy all enemies before you, reducing their health to zero. This is the Black Book. It contains all of your Sagavars. Try using the page Urazi. Press the end button to recite your Zagafor. Yeah. The pages you had the previous turn have changed. The book alters the pages each turn. <clears throat> Enemy attacks can be blocked with the defense. Defense shields you from damage but disappears on your next turn. Recite the page of Delia which has the defense effect. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that means he's going to use Bite. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. Now draw up a complete Sagavar. You may combine several pages in two a Zagafor. You can currently recite a maximum of three pages as indicated by the empty slot at the top of the screen. A Zagafor consists of orders and keys. You can correctly currently recite a Zagafor consisting of two orders and one key. You can see the type oh, yeah, uh, of the page, order, or key in its upper corner. Okay, so I have got those are two scrolls. That is a key. So we do have one there and then we have Two scrolls, and he's only going to do one damage, so that should help. So I've got eight damage and a block. Good job, Vasha. This demon is nearly beaten. Okay. A couple more spells to read the world of it. Okay, the black book helps you predict your enemy's actions. Study the enemy's intents carefully to upset their plans. So you can come over here and see that he's going to use bite. Oh. Yeah, we're going to do that. What is that? Deals three for each turn. To the gates of hell. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that is a black rift. I guess it's the only thing that we can do. And it is a rift monster. Oh, <laughs> is that you, Vasilisa? I should congratulate you. For the first seal is open. Only six remain. Thank you, demon. Oh, but will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. Um. How do I open the seals? Oh. Can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed in you. I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant any wish? Indeed. As Latin dictates. Who knows? Perhaps you shall meet your beloved soon. Never believe that. It's worthy to open the scroll and break its seals. No one in heaven, on earth, or beneath it has ever been able to open the 
the scroll a look upon it. Yet. Yet. What sort of devil are you? How rude I'm your chief advisor. Oh. It is I who grants you the powers of a Kaldun. We will become better acquainted in time, I presume. My chief advisor. Let me return okay. to the land of the living. No chest yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I name you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? Well, I will certainly need the help of demons. So give me as many as possible. Ah. <sighs> You just committed your first sin. They say that the fate of the Colden and the Witch is to burn eternal flames with no chance of absolution. The outcome of some events of the game of yours to decide. Your sin counter will change according to your decision. Then your number of sins affects your choice of replies as well as possible game endings. They say each person has an angel on their right shoulder and devil on the left, but to whom you turn your ear is entirely up to you. But you are still too weak. Soon you will have three charts at your command. That's enough for now. Okay. Now go. Perhaps we'll meet again. If you manage to open the seals. Like... Ring-esque videos? sun rose while you were coming to had to drag you home i understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain so you've seen it yeah huh? are we home seems like it was all a dream the <clears throat> devil made me a witch well then it is a good day uh, what did i tell you you should have become a witch a long time ago what is new Ballad well, job. what's done is done. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the Why is it my mind one. thinks, you know, like actual like water seals? Like, ah, 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 ah. Here's the second seal. The Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part, but what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm. I'll something to do with snow. i wreck my brain a bit. Maybe there's something in the books? You yourself are a witch now. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the Suset case who told the heads of the families. House spirit or hobgoblin? Now people will come to you for advice. I am old now, not many teeth left. My Kuldun powers are waning. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Well, Maybe. while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you book binding? Afterwards, see to that visitor of yours. We get to bind Some our own evil book. spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? Yes. Have you yourself met this devil? I was initiated as a Kaldun once. I saw this devil who gave me my charts. Demon or devil who can serve as a Kaldun's familiar? I couldn't even lift the first seal, and you, who all you needed was one touch, and it's gone already. It seems there is great power within you. Got it? Yes. I, I got, got it, it, Grandpa. Time to get to work. 
Look for the spirits around the district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. An Eastern Orthodoxy a traditional memorial service held on the 40th day after the death of the departed, after which his his or her soul leaves the world. God bless. Okay. So, Vasya, have you taken well to learning the mystical arts? Are you curious enough to learn some more? Yes. So how did you become a Khaldun, Grandfather? I didn't. I was born in Vilgard, the sixth son of my father, Yevlan Pichurov. It was a big family, not the richest though. When you have so many mouths to feed, it's hard to save money. But we lived well as a family. The house must have been built well. That is to say, I realize this now. Then one year, a seventh brother was born. Timofey, he was called. He was a good lad. He grew up, but I didn't look after him well enough. Heavy is this sin of mine. I still feel guilty. Uh -huh. Vasya, having chorts is a trivial thing. You would do better to protect the ones closest to you, to fight for them. It's knowledge that gives Always. us strength, for we harness their own power against them with the chorts under our control. One day I was looking after Timofey. We were playing with the other children, but I lost my patience with the boy. I cursed him severely, oh. sent him to the Leshy. Oh. Yeah, Leshies are bad. So the Leshy carried him away. We never found Timoshka. He'd vanished. Oh, it's hard to bear these sins, Vasya. So hard. So I decided to become a Kaltun. I wouldn't let the Dark Ones harm my family ever again. Or so I thought. Well, well I'll tell the story of how I became a Kaldun later. Ask me tomorrow. It's hard to remember all these things of the past. You'll understand when you're as old as me. Maybe. How's our Isba built? Just in a Russian countryside dwelling. It was built long ago. Lots of people have lived here since. So I guess it's supposed to be like in Russia. More than half a century ago, it seems. All according to old rituals, you know them by now. But uh, I don't remember who built it. Uh, my grandfather, I suppose. How can I recognize evil spirits? How can I know when they're before me? <laughs> they have faces. Simple. You've been to the world of the devil. And now you'll see everything for what it is. Dude, I the only know the thing devil, is, then. the darkness will see you too. I mean, it already it sees me. Demons and spirits will track you down, and as soon as you glance into the darkness, you'll feel their rise upon you as well. Uh, okay. Be strong. Such is our fate. You make your own way. All right. <clears throat> Let's no, get over. Um, I have to go, grandfather. We'll talk later. Let's see what this the black book has. Okay, on the screen you can change the page composition of the black book. On the right side you can see the current page composition of the black book. <coughs> okay. On the left side are pages available to you but not in the current black book composition. You can categorize pages with special filters. You might receive pages that are currently unavailable as battle or task results. You can alter the page composition of the Black Book to craft new pages so you need rubles. The Black Book volume has to stay within the limits of a maximum and minimum number of pages. You may also save three different sets of pages and change them as needed. In time, you will uncover even more Black Book pages which are sealed away at the present. You can change the composition of the Black Book at any time except during combat. This page effect applies but by one for every other page the same color in a Zagafar. Oh. Deals three damage each, ignoring that. Okay, so these are the... <clears throat> yeah, 
I do not have a lot of other cards yet. Here's my map. Here's my items. Old and enchanted candles from old Agar's hut. With their help, you can draw a circle that can offer protection against evil spirits. So that's those those are the things that I have. Oh wait, hold on. I have items. And then I have herbs. Herbs cannot be equipped, but items can be equipped. Okay. Alright, so here is um the story so far. The encyclopedia. And I guess these are the leveling up. Wait, do I have any levels up? I guess I do. I just don't know what I want. To want. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, I don't have any skill points. <laughs> well, <clears throat> let's go see the visitor. Oh, God bless, Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God bless. I come bearing gifts, some flour for your household. Please, oh, I got five rubles. Hear me out. So, I mean, if you're a witch, obviously the witches back then, you know, the not the negative ones, but the positive ones were healers. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something <clears throat> terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night when suddenly we heard some strange sounds. Then a shadow began to Too darken big. in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? During the night shift at the windmill, he heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shift in shadows. What could be behind such emanations? If you answer a knowledgeability question correctly, you will receive an experience reward. Sometimes your answers will influence in-game events. <clears throat> to recognize the... <clears throat> Man, I've got something in the back of my throat. I'm lots of... Just... Bleh. <clears throat> to recognize the correct answer, <clears throat> you will have to carefully study your surroundings and the Ano mistake, whatever, uh, which you can open at any moment from your menu. You can also receive a hint by pressing your knowledge button. However, you only get half the experience. Um... <clears throat> Did I accidentally use my? So this is uh, what I guess this is supposed to be, but it doesn't really tell me much. I'm gonna say Why demons. Why do you work at night? <clears throat> demons are at work. Jesus Christ. No, she said demons. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. <clears throat> what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cuff it up if we help you. All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? I'll find out what's going on with you, Chort. Oh, okay. thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a Leshy, but this Miller has some Chort. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, Thanks. take this herb. It is called an Adam's Head. It will heal you up if anything goes sideways. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Wanna ask anything else? Um, <clears throat> let's do the windmill. This windmill? <clears throat> Don't you remember the one to the north of Vilgord? 
Okay. The devil haunts that place at night, people say. Oh. Go there <clears throat> and be back home by sunrise. We have much to do. Okay. Got it, Grandfather. It's time to go. See you tomorrow. Ah, wait. One more thing. I've sent a chort to Kushova village. Okay. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. All right, Grandpa. Okay. You are now on your travel map. Every night it will display different locations. You may go on your way only after you speak to all your visitors. You can visit any available location. However, your health recovers only after you accomplish your task and return to the ISBA. Your goal, visit your main task location. However, you can't reach it without visiting all the other locations along the way. The game auto-saves each time the location changes. You can also save your progress manually, in which case the game will save as soon as you enter a new location. <clears throat> you can open the map by clicking on your present location. We wish you the best of luck exploring the northern islands of Chirden Uzid. Okay, there's the old windmill. I need to go over here, though. I guess I have to, like, hold down the button. Okay. You stealthily creep by the village houses. At least, you thought you were being stealthy. You hear a familiar voice calling out from one of the windows overhanging the street. <clears throat> Swasha, wait! I have business with you. <clears throat> Hush! <clears throat> whisper. I've got this neighbor and I hate her guts. So curse her a bit, will you? Here's a killer curse or something. Not a strong one. I've got a gift ready for you. Uh, I'm not that no. kind of witch. Just so <clears throat> you know, I don't just go firing off curses left and right. Nope. Okay, let's go solve this optional problem. You notice a noisy family gathering in front of one of the houses. It's unusual to see an entire family out on the street at this hour. Strange, muffled sounds are coming from inside the poltergeists. Falling cutlery, furniture, moving around. Good evening to you, Vasilisa. God himself has sent you to us tonight. Everything has been turned upside down in our house. The enemy of man is haunting our house. The devil himself is here. Mm. Everyone is scared so- How did it manage to get in here? <coughs> it's no simple matter for a chort to get inside a human dwelling. What did you do yesterday? We just had some tea. Natalia likes it a lot. She's quite fond of tea. Then we prayed and went to sleep. And in the middle of the night, it all started. Oh, what tea, tea time turned into a short invasion. I wonder why these demons appeared in the first place. Oh. So I can come over here. Um... <clears throat> It's a ritual behavior, so... <clears throat> it's often believed that are consequences of another. For instance, a peasant suffering from misfortune, often forgetting to cross himself, is perceived as being punished for not observing a ritual. This also results in all sorts of popular beliefs. This is not locked away at night or crossed, become a refuge <clears throat> for evil spirits. A sick child or a changeling needs to be thrown across the threshold of a house inhibited by spirits who were lured there by the killing of a rooster during its construction. After some time, the underlying reason for the ritual becomes forgotten, leaving behind only the ritual itself. Um, I, I don't know. Like, it's a ritual. But I would say... Keep the windows open. Naturally, Chort's crawled in. Oh. I'm not so sure about that. You must not have made the sign of the cross over the samovar. That must be the reason. Please, won't you help us? Don't leave us this way. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. very well. I will help you. It's no good sleeping on the street, is it? Thank you, Vasilisa. Have some milk for your journey. You come inside the Izba. Everything is in complete disarray. The Chorts have certainly had their way here. You, the demons have made a mess. They threw the dishes and cooking pots around, but luckily, the brass utensils seem to be intact. Oh. The most damaged part is the shrine in the corner. The icon cases are damaged, and the candles 
are broken. Of course, to approach iron. the overturned samovar, suddenly it shakes and starts to move, and red eyes light up the darkened room. A demon is here. All right. What? Oh, they're okay. So that's kind of cool. I've got a, a lot of kind of scrolls here. Okay, well, you're my only attack scroll. <clears throat> okay, and um, I'm going to use the one key. Oh, he gave five to the other guy. Okay. And so basically that's what he's going to be doing like each round is giving him five defense. So I need to try to kill him while also making sure that I have at least six defense at some point. <clears throat> so that's going to be that. <clears throat> I got one key. That does damage I could take one hit, because I really need to kill him. There we go. Okay, so I killed the first demon. <clears throat> I take one damage. Now I can focus on this person. Ooh. Yes. Boom. Some defense. And some life back. I really didn't need the life back. But it's kind of interesting anyway. Okay, we're going to use the bless. Use that. And I guess, yeah, we'll do that. Take that one. Take that one key. Now I have one more. Um... Yeah, there you go. I'll do that. <clears throat> and I think we'll be done after one more round. Oh, we're done now. Ooh, I like well versed. Oh, but this hits everybody. Pick that one. The elders of the family bow to you and thank you for helping them. They also give thanks to God for bringing you here. The girl, Axenia, assures you that from now on, every jar in the house will be crossed. Okay. The silver glow of the moon catches glimpses of the foul water. The chilled northern night air is split by dull croaks coming from the swamp. You move closer a couple of steps. Suddenly, a demon appears from beneath the water with black horns and a body that is woolly and matted. Oh, I wish I had drawn a circle, but I did not. Okay, there is a bless. He's going to do four damage. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I can take one damage. I do have that one, that one page in there that does allow me to gain life back. <clears throat> Alright, I, I forgot to use that last one, so yeah, he couldn't. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, see, that's that. I don't even think I really need to use that right now. I don't, I'm not, like, losing much. And he 
he's not doing much damage either. So, so that's going to do some extra damage each turn. It's like a poison effect. An attack. Let's use that one, yeah. Boom. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so I have killer that's already in the book. Let's use Nava. I don't really need to go to that other place right there. I don't know if we're stuck by time Near the or whatever. Near edge, you see a white towel on an old stump. Someone has left a bottle of milk and some piragi. Near these gifts is a birch charter. Peasants from Bigichi village are asking the Leshi to take care of their cattle. You decide to leave the sacrifice to the yep. Leshi untouched. This is Bigichi's folk business, not yours. We don't want to bother that. That's an herb. Mushrooms upon mushrooms here, which I don't need that. Maybe I should have gone for mushrooms. I have enough herbs. On a hillside near Kacheva Lake, you see two silhouettes. No, I don't. One is combing the other's long hair. There is something strange in his uneven movements. Something that gives you shivers. The black figures disappear as soon as you recite the name of God. Oh, I probably should have just attacked him. Gloomy windmill arms creak in the distance, parting the pre-dawn fog. The shadow of an owl passes overhead. It crosses your path, a bad omen, since man's path and man's destiny hmm. are as one. Yet, could it be it was trying to point you somewhere? You read a protective zagavar and feel that the ancient words help you. You continue your journey with confidence. Besides, a bit of extra training never hurts. That's nice. Uh, a dangerous and unholy place. Okay, so that's where I need to go. Maybe I can go here though? You meet two travelers from Bigichi village, who are on their way to the fields. The three of you continue on your journey together. Near the mouth of a chasm, one of them jokingly tries to shove you into the pit. You play along, thinking it was meant in jest. However, a moment later, it stops being fun. Oh. The peasant is inhumanly strong. He overpowers you and you go tumbling down off the edge of the chasm. You come to your senses at the bottom of a narrow ravine. The trees rustle loudly in the wind. How dare he? Like, am I stuck there now? No, I'm not. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any sort of, like, um, time limit. You walk around the windmill and approach the Chute forest. The grim silence envelops you. The only sound you hear is of the fir branches, whispering in the morning fog. The short swarm dives into the gloom with a chorus of angry screams. As the forest sinks into silence, you inspect the windmill's debris. Among some wooden logs and mechanical parts, you find a small sack of flour and pick it up. Oh, okay. All right, so I might as well go to these other places too. While traveling through the woods, you stumble upon a snake's oh. nest. Baby snakes are still inside their eggs. Fortunately, the mother snake does not seem to be around. You make a small wall of stones around the nest and wait for the larger snake to come back. The mother snake soon returns. Seeing the barrier, she fruitlessly tries to get past but soon leaves. Some time passes, and the snake comes back with a bunch of grass in its mouth. 
the snake touches the grassy mass to the stone barrier, and the wall instantly collapses. The snake is reunited with its nest. Right. You quickly grab the grass before the snake hides it. It smells of rust. The only noticeable thing about it is the cross shape made by four leaves. Fortune has smiled upon you. You have found a break herb, okay. a bundle of aromatic weeds that opens locks and barriers. You take the herb and get nice. ready to go on your way. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess it was a good thing that I went back there, huh? Standing amidst the black wooden figures, you hear a rustle in the trees. You read the protective spells, but out comes a person, not a demon. An ancient woman, dressed in old clothes. It would seem you have come across a beggar. Oh, a witch, a witch. I can smell your kind from a mile away. Hey, I bathe. Can you spare a few coins? I don't need much to get by. A person is only as good as they are charitable. Here you are. Don't forget me in your prayers. Thank you. I'll pray for your lost soul. Thank you. It's dangerous to go alone. You're gonna give me a sword? Take this. <laughs> a healing herb. Oh. I really thought I was gonna get a sword. You know, dangerous to go alone. So I really like the visuals so far. They're really kind of The spruce branches part, and an old mill stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who visited this place at dusk, or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of wind and other devilry. It is what they call a bad place. Only at night. Um, yeah, first I think we're going to kind of look around. Because that's... Okay, so you can do something there at that tall tail wall. No. It's a carrier log. It's used to turn the mill. The old wood creaks in the wind. The old windmill is creaking from the okay. cold wind. It is not so often that you see this kind of mill. Okay. That's not what I, what I want to do right yet. Yeah, let's go to the backyard. You, you always want to make sure that you It's look hard around. to see anything in the dark gloom of the night. Nevertheless, you feel your eyes getting used to the darkness. The black book may be aiding you. A mist. No, I'm gonna take the axe. Okay, that gives me like one extra life. All right. Well, I guess let's uh check out the front door. It's obvious the mill is old. Some wood has rotted through, making more windows. You approach and try oh. to open the door. It's closed. I don't need to do that. I can keep those items for later. Because of the tail pole back here. I can climb up. It's a carrier log. You try to clamber up, but your misstep oh. leads to a... I kind of figured something like that was going to happen. Um, but... Some kind of will has been placed here by the miller. Probably a replacement. The grindstones are still... The blades of the mill are turning. This chest is for various tools used at the mill. Nothing interesting. Okay, what's the You locker? study the cabinet. Among various clinkers, old pots, and birch bark containers, you find a sack with silver rubles. It might be of some use to you. You choose to take the money. Oh. The miller will hardly miss it. So that is also a sin. Okay. Let's grab that other 
Adam's head. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nothing else except for the rift. A broken block of wood is near the wall. It seems to be part of the windmill's mechanism and the reason why the grindstones are standing still. Through a hole in the wall, you see the woods of Chirgin. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's a big one. He's not a regular chort. Uh, I expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. Why, thank you. Why are you here, then? And I didn't expect to meet a demon speaking the common tongue. I'm an apprentice witch. Who are you? Ah, a demon, you say? Oh, you see, maiden, I'm not a common short. I am known as the 13th brother. I am the guardian of the village, the forest, and the secret hidden garden and its heart. I'm also the guardian of this windmill. Okay. All of this is me, the unseen master, at your service. What kind of name is that? The Thirteen Brother? It is a name whispered through time and across many lands, until it became my name, that is. I will tell All you right. the story, if you want to hear it, of course. There is still time until the dawn. No. Well, what do you want with the windmill, then? I've got to make it back before dawn. Haven't you figured it out? Perhaps I was wrong about you. I thought of you to be a strong witch. A master of wit, deduction, and intellect. One endowed with knowledge that others do not possess. I guess not. The windmill not really. is possessed. But is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it appears to be? I must think about why he's here in the first place. No, probably not. Um, let's see. Let's see if he has anything in here. Um, in Perm, windmills are rare sites in water mills. This is because it's harder to catch the wind than it is to harness the power of running water. Often, windmills were built with a mo moving roof that was operated with special lever. The wind could be caught just so that the wind blades could begin moving with optimal efficiency. The most effective kind of wind was not the strongest wind, but moderate wind. Before the revolution, blades were fitted with special fabric. They were later filled with plywood. Uh, <clears throat> okay, the red corner is one of the most important and mystical places in an Izba, so much that points to her. Okay, yeah, this is the other one that we saw. But, um, there had to be something. Right? Something you were summoned by a sacrifice. Yeah, okay. You've been here since your creation. Well, you are a knowledgeable indeed. Not to mention, I'm bound to this pitiful miller, but I desire a powerful master. Oh, okay. Take me as your servant. My sacrifice will attract someone more agreeable, and you will have both your reward from the miller and the reward of my presence. Well, okay. so be it. I could use a chort like you, if not just for the conversation. Wait. Perhaps you are not as strong as you seem. There is yet to be such a Kaldun who can outmatch the 13th brother. Oh, so now I gotta fight. Anyway, he's got 50 of life. Wow, okay, so, um, he's gonna be doing Demon Seals 6. Oh, okay, so he's gonna be, uh, okay. Okay, well, he's not going to actually do any real damage. Just yet. He's just going to steal a page. So I might as well take advantage and try to do as much kind of damage as I can. Ok, 
Okay, so let's see what I got. He's gonna do five. Oh, he's gonna use do ten damage now. Might as well stack up as much as I can. Why do I only? Oh, right, I forgot. Now I know why I have seven. But there's that. So I blocked his attack. You are so arrogant. Do you really think you can defeat this ancient spirit? Yes. My book will help me. This can't be. All right, so you've locked two of those. We're about to do 13 damage. Oof. I, I guess they're supposed to be like specific colors, but I've got, okay, so these are whites. That's black. That should give me... Oh, I'm probably going to die here. No, not quite. I'm going to have like one life left, it looks like. Oh no, he did defense. I thought he was doing an attack for 13 damage. Okay. Okay, so well versed is staying on the page for one more turn. He's going to do 10 more damage this time. damage, but I went ahead and got healed up with the bless and a small attack. So next turn I'm going to have a bonus on attack. You're going to do th you're going to do some defense here. So I need to try and hit as much as I can. I Before you, you know, make yourself a, a thing. I shouldn't have to, uh, his demon seals are gone now. You're going to do 10 more damage. ignores the, the defense. And we'll do just like three damage constantly. It is a legendary artifact. I never gave up before, and I'm not going to now. Okay, so he's gonna do he's gonna do his defense again. We are going to hit him with as much as we can hit him. Fine. 
I need is like one more turn now. Okay, so I do not have any more white cards. You're gonna do 10 damage. I mean, I, I could just kill you outright, I believe. Yeah, there we go. I wanted you to serve me, though. I didn't want to kill you. Ooh. Ah, 666 experience. If you take the demon into your personal service, he will ask for work, like any other chort. Okay. The mill is now without a spirit, but this is none of your concern. Okay. How to kidnap from how to kidnap from a banya. And then he disappeared. He won't be interfering with work at the windmill anymore. So you took up a new chart. Hope it doesn't backfire. Well, uh, while you were gone, I had some thoughts <coughs> about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning, and every seal requires a demon. The second one is the Aspen one. We'll have to think what to do next. The first seal was opened by touch, and that was all. How do I okay. open the second? Well, not by simply touching the asp, that's for sure. I think we need evil spirits, so we'll find the asp and demons. Where do you think we can find okay. them, Grandfather? I don't know yet. I'll have to think on it. Go deal with the things you can at the moment, and let me think. Can't we open the others right away? I doubt that, nope. but who you gotta knows? Do them in sequence. Look around a bit, and maybe you'll fortune upon the right chart. I see. Time to get to work then. Yep. The charts are back. Awesome. Got through the demons at the mill. Oh, you now have a number of chorts yearning for mischief. Be careful, idle chorts torment their cult and masters. It takes some time for chorts to do their job, a day or more. Each location has a specific type of job. Um, hunger, strife, corruption, etc. Each chort has a job preference. You can discover it by learning a specific skill. Chorts perform better with their job of choice and worse with the ones they hate. In order for chorts not to torment you and steal your health, don't forget to give them jobs every morning. Okay, so yes, but I don't have the skill to use it yet. Because I do want that. Okay, but let's see. Let's see what we got. Um, no, I. So, causes strife between the Sudoku and the animals, so I don't know. Fire is a snake, plant a hernia. Hernia lost his eye in a bit of sinful lot who accepted bribes, now hates people even more. His favorite occupation is to interfere with the work of the peasants, so he knows all about housekeeping and farming. An object during the reign of Ivan the Terrible, Mate is now a fiend. Fat Avishka likes it when children starve. Cause strife between Suko and the animals. Send a curse. So why is he? Yeah, okay, so I can't even do anything just yet. Yeah, it's not even letting me do anything just yet with it. 
I sent them to perform an arduous task. That's why they weren't around. Now I should give them tasks? Well, what did you expect? Oh, okay, so I have to go through this. You first. knew what you signed up for. Everything has a price. Especially wishes. Mm. If you don't want them to torture you, send them to curse people. That's the life of a Kaldun for you. And if I don't want to curse anyone? Then suffer. These demons won't leave you alone. I've seen them before in your bestead. Not often, though. Now you will see them plenty. You can observe our entire gubernia in your bestiary. In the end, you decide what you do with those shorts of yours. God help us. Oh, okay. All right, but you know what, guys? I'm going to end it here. Um, I actually like it. I may make another one later, but for now, I am going to eat me something and then go play more Horizon Zero Dawn or Forbidden West. So until then, guys, be good to each other, and I'll see you in the next one.